welcome everybody uh, here today. Um, it's good to see that there's a lot of you guys that's all interested in this um, love grass stuff. Hope you never ever get it because um, it's, it is one of the most dangerous uh, grasses um, and it's one of the most uh, dangerous fires that you'll ever have any um, experience with. I've been, you know, dealing with this stuff, uh, oh, I suppose, just on 30 years, and um, I actually, I suppose, had to teach myself how to uh, put the brakes in and, and burn it, you know, uh, correctly, um, and um, touch wood. I haven't uh, lost one yet. Um, I suppose you shouldn't speak too loudly, but when I was uh, first started, um, you know, burning love grass, I'd just go out there and use a bush on a sheet track. Yes, I could do that back in those days. Today, no, it's no go. You can't do that because it's so thick and so dense, so hot and smoky, and um, just hopefully one of these days that when we do get a full-blown love grass fire that, um, that everyone, or all the firefighters, is not going to be in front of it because it's so, so dangerous and it, it will kill. And um, we don't want to see any of our guys, you know, go up and smoke. I think it will open your eyes how it does burn. And we do most of our burns, we usually light it at night. So this is a bit of an exception. We, at night, when the air is cold, the way the fire burns is unbelievable. Like we've been extremely lucky that we haven't had a, a love grass fire on a windy summer's day, even a windy winter's day for that matter. So the time will come when it does and because the main thing I could advise people then is just make sure you're not anywhere in front of it because it, it is the fastest burning thing I've ever seen. And we're up here today, they've got planned out a few different ways of burning, a few different breaks shows sort of what slashing effect has on it. It does have an effect, but it, it definitely won't stop it completely. And also we probably light a patch up fairly quick just to give you a bit of an idea how it does burn. I wouldn't recommend it in most places when you're doing a burn, especially in the middle of the day, but I really would advise anyone burning love grass to do it at night. <coughs> Have a good break around it, know your land, and, and also not to drive through it. Like, it's all right if there's nothing in there, but we've got a lot of wombat holes around here, a lot of rocks. So you can't sort of think you can take a quick route to get out of it anywhere and take off through it. You probably end up in a hole or hit a rock and that's where you stay. So I think it's just something we've all got to be aware of and it's, just, it's getting, well, it can't get much worse around here, I don't think, but it is still increasing a little bit, but it's just so thick. One time there was, you'd sort of have patches of, pasture or native grasses in it that especially at night would probably pull it up or at least slow it down whereas now when she's it's thick it's and if it some people say burning it makes it thicker I don't know whether that's true or not but it, if you don't burn it and leave it a few years there's so much fuel there that you just can't do anything with it and the normal trucks like we've got this truck kennel drive up there today with a pretty big water cannon on and it, it can hit it but there's not many trucks that have that amount of water or pressure to hit it and generally to put it out if you can sort of come from the back of it in from the burnt side because it, it just sort of burns underneath and you can't get the water in. But anyway, we'll try and show you what we can up there today but ask us any questions and we'll tell you some lies anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm Warren, I'm uh, one of the weeds inspectors in, in town. Um, Love grass is probably our biggest uh, weed uh, on the Monero, the one we're battling the most with. We've got pretty well just this core corridor down through Cooma, Michelago, Redbow, Collington is all dense African love grass. Um, our strategy at the moment is to contain that, that area. Um, we're dealing with everywhere else, it's a priority weed to control. Um, Everybody can see that fire flood going up and through that uh, smoke there. I'd say at this point in time, you've probably got flame height in there probably close on, uh, it's over 30 metres high. Uh, with, with love grass, like, burning is not a control technique. It's, it's not used for eradicating love grass. It won't get rid of it. Um, we, we're trying to help people manage their, their love grass on their properties nowadays, uh, give them ideas about how to reduce it. 
Um, you know, there's, there's a few different ways, slashing, ploughing, trying to put some competitive pastures in. Nothing, nothing works, us, these fellows will. Nothing works completely. Um, the biggest thing I can say is probably when these fellows, if you burn your love grass off, try and do something at least to protect your assets um, after that initial burn to try and put something in place, whether it's slashing around your homes, your, your buildings and stuff like that, because it might not be your fire that burns your, your house down, it might be the neighbour's fire. So putting, putting sort of permanent uh, buffers in around your, your property is probably the only thing that we can, we can say at the moment to try and, try and help things out a bit. That's about it. Over. <laughs> well, there were some American Californian firefighters and they were talking about Manzanita and they said, it's gasoline on a stick. Well, that's love grass. If, if it goes off like we expect to do, it'll be pretty scary. So um, just, just keep that in mind for your fire plan and your escape route if you want to get out there. Because if, if you get a hot windy day like the um, middle of January, about 40 degree heat, for the high wind like we had at the Arabin fire when we got away, or the big Lego fire, you won't outrun it and, and with the smoke and that you won't see where you're going. And as like Warren said, the biggest plan I think for this love grass around a house or any of the structures to clear it well back 50 to 60 metres at least and have that short if you've got to slash it or graze it down or whatever.